everyone. I've been walking on the jungle path that helped me learn about Jesus Christ's covenant path. I really felt Heavenly Father's love as I learned about the promises or covenants we can make to help us live with Him again. You know, that sounds like someone's hurt. Aw, hey there, little guy. Ugh, what is that? Oh. Can I help you? Do you have a thorn in your foot? There you go. There are a lot less thorns as you stay on the path. I bet helping him makes you mad. Why would you think that? Because he didn't even say thank you. Ugh. Actually, instead of feeling mad, I feel really happy inside. What? Happy? Huh. Yeah. I gotta check this out. <sighs> Hello, my name is Sister Porter, and I'm so happy to be here with you today. Are you happy to be here today? Yes! Yes, I'm so glad to hear that. I serve in the primary general presidency of the church with Sister Wright and Sister Browning. And do you know what that means? It means that every day we pray for you and every primary child across the world. Heavenly Father has blessed us with a special love for each one of you. I want to tell you a story about a girl named Susan. When she was seven years old, her family moved 2,000 miles away. A few weeks later, she turned eight and wanted to be baptized, but her father was not a member of the church and they didn't know anyone in the small branch. A few months later, by the time they got to know people, they found a friend who agreed to baptize Susan. It was a cold, rainy day in November. As she went to the chapel, there were just a few people there to observe the baptism, her mother, sister and brothers, and a few friends. After the baptism, she got out of the cold water, walked through the chapel, and started down the stairs. And as Susan was dripping from being baptized, she fell down the stairs. At the bottom, she got up, shaken up and bruised, but she got dressed and went out to the street to get in the car. She was cold and shivering, but in her heart, she felt peace. She felt warmth. She knew that Heavenly Father knew her. He was aware of her and so proud of her for making that decision to be baptized and to become a member of His church. Do you know why that story is so close to my heart? It's because my first name is Susan, and this was my story. I've got another picture here. Do you know who this is? Raise your hand. Jesus. Jesus, I love that. I'm so happy you know. Heavenly Father loved us so much that He sent Jesus to earth to show us the way to live and to help us return to live at our heavenly home. Do you know that He knows each one of you? Yeah. He yeah. does. Yeah. He knows your names and He loves you very much. And He was sent here by a loving Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father knows each of you. When I pray for all of you, I don't know all of your names. I don't know everything about you but Heavenly Father does. He knows what you like to do and what's easy and hard for you. And He loves you so much and wants you to be happy. Jesus told us the best way to be happy is to live the two most important commandments. We're going to find out what they are. Victoria, would you come help me and read Jesus' words? He told us, what are the two most important things we can do to help us be happy? Victoria is going to read from Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 to 39. 
Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Thank you. Victoria, let's do something to help all of you remember the first and second great commandment. So the first one is that we love God. So let's all point up and look up to heaven. All of us can do it. Love God with all of our heart, might, mind, and strength. So we're going to love God and then spread both arms out wide. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love our neighbors. Who's the neighbor? Everyone, thank you. So let's do it one more time. We're at first great commandment is to love God. And the second one is to love our neighbor. Thank you, Victoria. Today, we're going to learn some ways that we can show Heavenly Father how much we love Him and how we can love our neighbors. So I want to ask you children that are here, how can we show Heavenly Father that we love Him? Yes. Um, we can pray. We can pray. Come follow me. Come follow me. These are wonderful. I'm learning a lot. Yes. Scriptures. Scriptures. That's a great one. Yes. Fasting. Fasting. Wonderful. Yes. We could go to church. Go to church. Thank you. Yes. We could invite others to come to Christ. Invite others to come to Christ. Each of you in turn. Help. Play with anyone who's lonely. At Help places. someone who's lonely. Thank you. Stand in holy places. Stand in holy places. I love that. Yes. Pray. Pray. Wonderful. Follow the word of wisdom. Follow the word of wisdom. Yes. Repent. Repent. I have learned so much from all of you today. These are beautiful ways to show Heavenly Father how much we love Him. In the Book of Mormon, King Benjamin taught us that when we are serving others, we are serving Heavenly Father. So the first and second great commandments go together. It's time for Making Friends. <laughs> I show my love to Heavenly Father by keeping His commandments. And He shows His love by making a way back to Him through Jesus, our Savior. I show love to Heavenly Father by serving at home. Look, I'm in my sister's bed. Thanks, but I'm still in it. Hi friends, I'm Sister Browning and we're here in the world room with my friends, Rosalie, Kate, and Matt. Do you want to travel with me? Sure, sure. Yeah. Friends watching, do you want to travel with me? Great. We're not gonna go too far, but we're gonna go someplace special. Let's take a look. This is a family scene. I would love for us to really study this picture and see what we can observe and how we can help. Does that sound good? And friends watching, I invite you to do the same thing. Rosalie, can you tell me what you see? That boy is having trouble because there's a hole in the trash bag. Yes, he is having difficulties because the trash is spilling out, right? Yep. How do you think you could help him? By closing the hole. You could close the hole. That's a good idea. Maybe get him a new bag. Mm -hmm. Right? And just dump the other garbage into the new one. I love that. Matt, what do you see? I see that the grandpa needs water and maybe we could get him a new glass of water or milk or whatever he's drinking. I love that. He, we could pour him another glass, right, of drink to drink. And Kate, what do you see? I see the sink is overfloating, so maybe you could like turn it off and, or help do the dishes. That is a wonderful idea. How do you think that the family members in this scene would feel if you offered help? Rosalie, how would they feel? Good. They would feel good. Kate, what do you think? Happy. Happy. And Matt, how do you think joyful. they'd feel? Joyful. Good, happy, and joyful. And Kate, how do you think Heavenly Father would feel about you serving this family? He would feel happy and comforted that he knows I, that he knows I want to be like him. 
Absolutely, beautifully said, Kate. He would be so pleased to know that you're trying to be like him. Thank you, friends, for teaching us just about how we can help right in our homes and find small ways to extend service. We've learned that when we help others, we're becoming more like our Savior, Jesus Christ, and we're becoming closer to those we serve, living the first and second great commandment to love God and to love others. Now, let's hear from some other primary children around the world. Pay careful attention to what you hear and how you feel as you listen to them. And let's see how we may be inspired to act. Hello, I'm Sister Wright, and I'm here in the Philippines with my friends, and I have a few questions for them. Brielle, how do you feel Heavenly Father's love? When I pray sometimes, uh, like, a uh, feeling spirit. Very safe. It's comfortable. Love, Lucia. It's good. Happiness. What are some things that you have done to share Heavenly Father's love with others? Share, share all of my things to my cousins. I say I love you. Cleaning up. Mm, I don't know. Did you know you served to me today? I was nervous for this interview and you came and you made me laugh. Have you ever thought that service or laughter can be service? Whenever uh, me and my sister, uh, you know, fight, uh, we try to understand uh, each other and uh, forgive each other. Um, one time in church, a little girl tripped on the staircase and uh, I tried uh, comforting her. Be nice, give her, give food and share umbrella and all that other stuff and hug. Yes. Hug, kiss, share umbrella. I love all of those ideas. Thank you so much. And I have a feeling that you do those things, don't you? Hi, everyone. It's Sister Tracy Browning, and I'm here with my friends, and we're in beautiful Trinidad. How do you know Heavenly Father loves you? Um, I know that Heavenly Father loves me because he looks over us, and he protects us from all our bad dreams. Because he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. He, he, he loves us and uh, he's so sacrificed to love us for, on the cross. He sent Jesus Christ to die for us on the cross. Thank you, Ephraim. How do you show your love to Heavenly Father? Ethan, how do you do that? I show my love from, from Heavenly Father by praying from, for every meal and also um, protecting others even though they're being bullied. Oh, you're a protector and you pray. That's wonderful. Every morning, we love him and pray for him and we talk to him. He, he does be part of us when, when we, we just do good in school. Yeah, he loves it when we are choosing to be intelligent and use our intelligence. How do you show your love for others? By helping them. We can clean the backyard. We could one day be uh, somebody who helps somebody, like a nurse or a doctor or wasa worker or anything, a police. Oh, I love that. We can choose professions where we're helpers. How about you, Addison? How do you show your love for others? Treat others how you would like to be treated. Oh, that is a powerful truth. Jesus is the Son of God. When I'm mad or sad, He helps me feel better. Siento el amor de mi Salvador. He loves each one of us, even if we're different. If I saw um, Jesus, the first thing I'll do is say thank you for all the wonderful things you gave us.
want to follow Jesus because he's the perfect example. From Jesus I learn not to be rude or mean. When I feel the Savior's love, it feels like he's hugging me. Jesus will be I love him too. 我感觉到我的救主耶稣基督的爱. When I try and be like the Savior and help and serve people, I feel really warm inside. And I hope everybody in the world could be like him. I show my love to Father in Heaven by being kind to those who might not like me. Oh, sometimes it's not easy to do. I know Heavenly Father loves me because He gave us Jesus, so we can get back to Him. Without Jesus, we are toast. Um, we'd be lost. Toast has nothing to do with this. 14, 15, 16, 18. I show my love to Heavenly Father by paying my tithing so others can have gospel blessings. Um, hmm, where was I? One, two, three, four, five. That's better. What what are you doing? Now other explorers can enjoy the path. Huh? Enjoy what? Okay, I don't hurt you. Now that's it. Yeah. Hey, be careful. You don't know where that thing's been. It could be moldy. There you go, little guy. Why are you so nice? Nobody's even around to notice what you're doing. That sweet little bird at Henley Bobby noticed, and so did you. What was that song you were humming before? It's a song about how Jesus wants us to show love to one another, like he did. Oh, that's why you're being so nice. And because it makes him feel happy inside. We each have different ways to help others feel loved and happy. I guess I make others happy with my music. How's it make you feel? All warm inside and like I want to dance. Well, that's how I feel when I help others. I like that feeling. Me too, Toucan. The name's Louie, by the way. Okay, Louie, I'm Jane. Let's go follow Jesus' example together. Come on. Okay. Maybe if you can, so can the Toucan. <laughs> oh, hey, wait up. <laughs> oh, no. He's out of the nest again. Jane, we got we got him out of the... Jane, little help, Jane. What? No, stay. Stay. Don't you, don't you move. No, no, you're looking, no. Hello, everyone. I'm Sister Wright. Thank you, Ulysses and Taisley, for joining us. Do either of you play a musical instrument? Yes. You do? What do you play? I play the flute. You play the flute. Wonderful. What about you? I play the percussion bells and, st and, uh, and a drum pad. Wonderful. Do you know what musical instrument this is? 
It's a xylophone. It is a xylophone. Would you like to play it? Yeah. Okay. I have on this piece of paper a few musical notes that I would like you to play. Would you go ahead and start mm -hmm. for me? Wonderful, good job, Taisley. Well done, thank you. Now I'm going to play those same notes and I want you to pay close attention to what happens in your head. Oh, it's like- Do you recognize that melody? Yeah. I think you do. Yeah. Raise your hand if you heard the words, I am a child of God in your head. <gasps> I did too. Even though the words were never spoken, were they? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us. You can go take your seats. Did you know, my friends, that this is one of the ways that the Holy Ghost can speak to you? He can put thoughts or words in your head. These words can guide you, they can comfort you, they can be words of action or warning, do this or don't do that. They can even teach truth such as you are a child of God. The Holy Ghost can also inspire us with ways in which we can serve one another and help build the kingdom of God. Let me show you how this could work. Sophia and Sam, can you please help me? Come on up. I'm so happy you're here today. I'd like both of you and all of you to take a moment and ponder, or you can even say a silent prayer in your mind and ask Heavenly Father to help you think of a way in which you can serve someone. Then listen and see what happens in your heart and in your mind. Did the Holy Ghost teach you something? Yeah? Now please take a moment and draw a picture or you can even write about a thought that you received and ways in which you can serve others. We can all receive inspiration every day from the Holy Ghost. He can tell us things that we can do to help make the world a better place. Sophia, that's wonderful. I can see you're drawing somebody, helping someone else. Maybe our friends at home are also drawing a picture of someone that they can serve. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It might even be a neighbor. We've got some really good artists here with me today. I'm sure our friends at home are drawing some wonderful pictures right now as well. Don't you think? Yeah. Maybe some of you aren't drawing a picture at all, and maybe you're just writing some words. The Holy Ghost has impressed upon your mind some things that you could do. Oh, Sam is signing his, so it looks like he's done as well. Sophia, do you want to begin and share with our friends what it is that you felt prompted to draw and tell about ways in which you can serve others? Hold up your picture so everyone can see. Well, I received in my mind that we can help others and bring others to Christ. And I like to do that a lot because I like making friends. Wonderful. I like making friends too. It feels good, doesn't it? Thank you so much. What about you, Sam? For mine, I drew a little picture of me and a question bubble saying, I, I felt really good inside. And that, that's pretty much mine because I really felt good inside during that moment. So That's wonderful. Yeah. That is one of the ways the Holy Ghost can speak to us, is with a good feeling inside, huh? I love that, and I love your thought bubble. That was very creative. I testify to you, my friends, that Heavenly Father loves you. He trusts you, and He needs you. Your service will make a huge difference in the world as together we prepare for the Savior's second coming.
I know God loves me because he gave us animals. I love Sparky so much. Buzz! Ugh, I don't like his breath. I know Heavenly Father loves us, and I feel his love through good friends. Totally. Hugs? Hugs. Mmm. It's been wonderful spending time together today. I want you to know that Heavenly Father loves you. He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to help us all return to Him again. No matter where you're from or what is happening in your life, our Father in Heaven and Jesus Christ see you and care for you. We can all show our Heavenly Father and Jesus that we love them too by loving others. The kind things we do for each other, even small things, can make a big difference in the world. Hi! Hi, Jane. <laughs> Phew! I made it home, and I brought a friend. P.U. Oh, my goodness. Jane, when's the last time you washed your socks? Oh, oh, oh I can still smell them. Oh. 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 That's better. Oh. oh, are you guys explorers too? We are. We're all on the covenant path together. Oh. oh. I'm Sister Porter. Oh. And I'm Sister Wright. And I'm Sister Browning. Oh, so you're all sisters. We are. Yes. Oh, I can see it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So tell us more about your journey, Jane. I learned about the covenants we made with our Heavenly Father and that loving others is how we follow Jesus Christ. The covenant path leads us to our heavenly home. Yes, the covenant path of Jesus Christ is like a circle. We all lived with Heavenly Father before we came to earth. Staying on the covenant path takes us back to live with Heavenly Father and Jesus again. What helps you stay on the path, Jane? Well, I get help and encouragement from family and good friends. And the children's guidebook helps me set goals and grow in ways that help me become more like Jesus. That's wonderful, Jane. What else did you learn? When I follow the promptings of the Holy Ghost, I can feel Heavenly Father's love, and that makes me happy. Truth right there. Yes. Heavenly Father loves each and every one of us and wants us to be happy. And when we love others like Jesus does, we spread that happiness. Hey, I'm getting that warm and happy feeling inside again. Maybe a toucan, too, can follow the path and be kind to others. We all can. Thank you all for coming. Remember to help others feel Heavenly Father and Jesus' love. Share the happiness that is found on the covenant path. Stay on the path. Goodbye, friends. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to wash your socks. Way too close to the end. I will sit on you like an egg. <laughs>